Thank you, friends. Um, I'm a mathematician and physicist, and I thought I'd made a wonderful discovery when hitting the anomalies of first past the post for the first time when I became interested in politics about three years ago, and I stopped just complaining about it, but started to want to do something about it. I invented a voting system, and I thought it was brilliant, and then I found it produced the same results in all situations, i.e. it was congruent, for those of you who are maths-oriented, to the Jefferson system. In fact, I'd reinvented De Hunt. Now, I came to it with no preconceptions. If, I, if that can happen of the virtually infinite number of possibilities, this system must be pretty logical. I didn't like AV, I voted against it in the uh, 2011 referendum, but I, um, seeing, seeing the mess that uh, it would have produced, I think I made the right decision. But AV plus or the, or the DONT system are really good. But we're not going to get there while we have the two major parties having a completely vested interest in keeping the system where it is. I do commend the honorable members of Labour who have come forward showing some courage to speak about something which is plain fairness. We actually got in UKIP between 2015 and Theresa May's 2017 folly, um, we got four and a half million votes. We actually outpolled all the other parties here put together when you add together those two elections. And we got for our sins or our uh, efforts or our popularity, we got one MP between the two parliaments. That just isn't fair. Now, I'm a first generation immigrant of mixed race. So those of you who have some silly prejudices, chuck them out of your head. They don't apply. Um, I'm here because it's just wrong not to do things correctly when we can do them correctly. We had the nonce to put the man on the moon 48 years ago. Is it beyond the, the um, intelligence and aptitude of man to find a proportional representation system today? Of course it's not. Um, furthermore, to say that the systems are too complex for the average person to understand, that doesn't cut, that doesn't cut any, uh, any ice whatsoever with me. I don't understand how precisely my mobile phone works, but I'm able to use it. Ditto with a voting system. Now, um, we're staying clear of party politics here, and my predecessors have already made a damn good job of fighting for PR. I would like to remind them in their unquestioning support for the EU that the EU has gone one step further than PR. The power in the European Union is exercised exclusively by European Union commissioners, and they aren't even elected at all. They are not elected. That's an absolute shame. However, proportional representation is needed, and it's needed now, not later. We've got to get that lot out of there. I challenged that um, um, tousle-headed uh, ragamuffin, um, Mr. Johnson, to come here and put his side as to why fairness is served by his system of voting. I somehow didn't expect him to be here, so Boris, Boris, if you're hiding, please come out, we want to play. Of course they won't come out, because they can't argue properly. They can't, the, the logic, fairness is not on their side, it's on our side. I'm Green, and I'm Liberal, and I'm a Democrat, and I'm UKIP, and I'm for proportional representation, and so should you, and so should they. Shame on Theresa May. Shame on the lot of them there. Thank you.